worked with Patrick Totopoulos and they reimagined the Batmobile. And you know, it's really hard because so many of these vehicles that have been done in the past were super cool. And how do you top it? Hopefully the fans are gonna go, wow, how great this incarnation of the Batmobile is. The Batmobile definitely spans all ages. Our Batmobile, though modern looking, he's probably had for 10 years. He's constantly working on it. The Batmobile, there's something retro about it. I wanted the whole car to be an engine, and only the top is a shield that becomes almost like the cape of Batman in the night. It really is a work of art. <laughs> and with the edge car, can just pull up here and we could just... We were always gonna do a chase scene and then it grew once we actually laid eyes on the Batmobile. It's a very unique car, very wide, and huge wheels on it. But it drives well. That's where Dennis's fabrication came in, because he had all of these race car guys that work for him, and they sort of know what a car needs to do to drive. It handles like a true race car, and everything on the car is set up to do exactly what we wanted to do. Batman's got a great car. Because it's the one thing people always ask about, is the Batmobile. It's killer. It's super cool. Getting the edge car to shoot the action was really fun. It's a camera platform that is basically built on the SUV. You can go super fast and the arm can swing while you're driving. Had uh, huge effects rigs, a bunch of cars crashing, flipping cars, explosions. So with the drivers that we had, it went very well. You can't put a price on having good drivers. Zach knows all about the minutiae of comic books and the history, and it was fun to be around that. Zach's one of the great visual storytelling filmmakers. Also, the lighting's got to be dark. You know, it's like a tunnel. Zach is the kind of director who sees scenes and movies and scripts in a multi-dimensional manner. It's not just one thing he's trying to convey. There's a deeper dimension to this. Nice. The design aesthetic of Zach, where it starts as a background into the comic book world. But beyond that, there is something very grounded about those characters and things we can relate to. Even in Superman, the bigger challenge was to recreate the Zack Snyder Batman. Batman has got high-tech things, but his aesthetic is more badass weapon, tanks. And they designed a Batcave like no other. You know, it's always been a dream of mine as a comic book fan to be in the Batcave, for real. We were able to build a lot of it practically, as you can see. The big concept for the cave is that everything is suspended. There is nothing with structural support from underneath. It's all hanging. It's the whole bad thing. You can believe construction, the way it hangs from the ceiling. And I loved all the tools and all the equipment. I'm going to do this. Post. They're going to go on action. It's a, a long and joyous collaboration that we've been on together and I think it's super exciting to play in that world. Got Very good. Tell me, do you plead? You will. It's time you learn what it means to be a man. Everyone has grown up having their heroes, and there aren't two who are better known than Superman or Batman. There are two guys facing the same dilemma with how to be good in the world, fighting evil. We really misunderstand each other. Let's face it, the two biggest names in superhero dumb. This is the sort of alpha and omega of this world. You're not brave. There's a massive DC universe that's just ready to explode. It's going to be quite the event, I believe. It's a big step. This is just a bold move, and uh, I'm excited.